Okay, uh, we're doing a little video diary. Uh, Dodie and I are on the way to... Avebury. Avebury. Um, so and, exciting! Yeah, to meet Rob. Um, place we've been, I've been going to for many, many, many years. Um, so enjoy this little video diary and uh, it's going to be a fun ride. Let's feel that energy, yeah? Here we are going through Marlborough, which is the widest high street in England. Which really is a glorious, glorious county. So as we come down now, we should have Silbury Hill. There it is in the distance. The largest man-made prehistoric structure in Europe, I think probably the world. We're just in Beckhampton, there's the wagon and horses, which hopefully we'll have some dinner at later on. And there's the B&B we stayed in last um, August. So here we are in the National Trust car park at Avery. Dad is all excited still. Uh, we're going to go and try and meet Rob and uh, have fun today at my home away from home. And just walking up to the road. Welcome back, Avery. You can't get too excited about Avery, though. No, to you be can't. Fair. No. It's just not possible. And if by magic, there is Mr. Martins walking up the road, shouting loudly. Yeah. How are you, love? Hello, lovey. I've always got a hug the whip. Yeah, so the names of the stones, I was talking what, about like, this. Like, like the, the Gary, black. Dave. No, the fact that there's the blacksmith stone. Well, no, it's, the there's the Benjamin stone. stone and oh, Barber stone's over that way. And all that yeah. sort of stuff. It's how do you know? Is there something that, is there a, what is that, the Barber oh, stone? We, we're going to the pen shop, aren't we? Uh, yes, first to buy, yeah. buy stuff. Stone, That's the one I was trying to describe to you, Mark. That's the one I thought you, you were yes. on about, yeah. And I'm sure that's called the blacksmith stone. Be not because it's anything it, more than it's come oh out right, of... Oh, right, it might it be. It came out of the forge. It was under a forge or something. Or you have to bring so reality it into it, do you? Why are you bringing reality into it, Teddy? <laughs> <laughs> 8 99 same, <laughs> price. Right. Same, price. Same, price. same price. Same price. Same price. Same price. Same price. Yeah. Apparently it's the same price. Right. Right. Kind of, okay, so well, whether it's somewhere that has I've already I very successfully been opened the gate for the first time without looking silly and kind of getting confused with it. Yeah. And look, we're into the stones, we're into the... Yeah. That's a circle. Yeah, yeah. And sheep are in the field. Oh. He's got the little map that says where we go. I, I kind of, I like these. I like them. We've got a load of sheep. Hello, mate. How are you? All right. Yeah, a little scratch. Like the old, it's like doing Johnny Morris and Animal Magic, isn't it? He's got a voice, like, you can't hear the conversation, I don't know the music. Here's the Swindon Stone, the only stone in the entire complex that's never been felled, and it's still in its original position when it was put up five and a half, six thousand years ago. Here we are at the cove, followed by these reprobates. This would have been one of the centre points of the old monument. And they will show you. Something that's interesting is that sometimes when you douse and you not and you haven't done it a lot, you walk too fast. And what, and what I found happens is the rods will suddenly do that. And it's kind of telling you, and you know what it, and you say to it, are you, are you telling me I'm going too fast? And they go, yes. So where do you want me to go? And then they do that again. So you go back, and it's telling you to retract the steps slowly. Okay, I'm asking for the Mary Current. Pass it through here, the Mary Current, please. Show me where that is. The Mary Current. Right there, where it was just now, yeah. Right there. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dodie. We have just confirmed, yep. because we've done this experiment before, it was showing you where the missing stones are of the avenue that led out of here mm -hmm. and went out through here. 
So there are three missing here, and then there's another one there, there, there. It, is, it was Stone Avenue. That the partners are in the road, so that's the avenue leading out. Oh, right, okay. So yeah. You picked up those three that we found there before. Okay, Rob and I are going to um, pre do an experiment we did uh, two years ago, is it three years ago? About three years. Ago. Where there's an avenue of stones here. But Dodie, we blind did a blind experiment with Dodie, who did really well just now. So we're going to do it with our eyes closed, see if we can pick up at the same points as before. Yep. That's a width. That's a width we picked up before. Length. Is it? And you, actually, there is a photo of Rob actually marked it out. You marked it out, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. We'll just go along a little bit further. Come back here. Oh, it's so warm. And oh yes, yeah, what's done there? Hello. <laughs> oh, right. Stone two. Stone two. The missing stone of the avenue. Right. Cool. Okay, we're just coming to this field because we're doing a little bit of work, aren't we, dears? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ask the rods. Can you show me if there was anything here? Yeah. Okay. Look, everybody, Dodie is dowsing. There's a whole new TV program there. Dowsing with Dodie. Dowsing with Dodie. <laughs> There That's you go. Great. Well done. Well done. Well done. That is really good. Silvery Hill. Okay, we are going up to Swallowhead Spring and then on to West Kennet Longborough with these fine people. Uh, doing a little bit more dowsing and then we get time to eat. So uh, come along for the rest of the adventure. Hmm? Hercules. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's a Hercules bomber. It's Piddington were like that. Where's it gone? Boys and girls, where are we going? We're going up Swallowhead Spring. Swallowhead Spring. Woo! -hoo. Yeah! It's a sacred site! Oh, sorry. <coughs> it's yeah, it's sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Well, you know. Huh? The lovely yeah. October warmth of Wiltshire. Yeah, we've got some offer yeah, peace offerings to the goddess. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, someone's put a bit of a bin liner. That's not very, very, very spiritual, is it? <laughs> no, I'm serious, what? It's a crap, isn't it? Bin liner. Bloody bin liner. Black bin liner. Not very creative. Right, sheer drop, guys. We're on a field. Where's the sheer drop? Where? where, where hello? What? Where? I'm talking. I'm very confused. Really, the best really. of the landscape. Because you've got silver. Look, look. There's silver in the background. Yeah. 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 Are we going to? Uh, yeah. A lovely but uh, windy day. But uh, it's rather nice. What's the story, Morning Glory? It's a sacred place! It's all ahead, Spring. Let's just uh, follow the action, eh? We'll follow, follow the woman and her technology. Yeah, so, yeah, so there's a bit all. We're trying oh, to. Spring's not wet at the minute. Whoa! It's all ahead, Spring. It seems to be dried up a bit. Oh. There's lots of peace offerings. <laughs> it's peace offerings. Oh, it's lovely. Can you film the sacred trees, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go over to the sacred tree. <laughs> With lots of offerings to the goddess. Whoa. This is quite a great place, Swallowhead Spring. Powerful energy centre. Up near West Kennet, Lombarrow. Tree. So that's, oh, that's yeah. where it starts. So is it worth going up and seeing? The sacred tree. There's this little fella doing his thing. It's a swallowhead spring. 
is rather a magical place. I imagine there's lots of ceremonies and hand fastings going on here. Uh, this is straight through from the Mary current. There's Rob taking lots of photos. I'm now in his way, so I'll move over here. Just going to follow the old spring down here a little bit. Oh, it's always wet. Oh, the partridge. Although it's wet, um, the spring has dried up more or less. It does at certain points of the year, obviously. Where does the line go? Should we tell her now or not? Yeah. It comes from Silbury, it cuts straight through here and it goes. Oh, through. right, okay. But so you, so you the bit I picked up here was, wasn't a something going that way? No, it was this. It was the cut and Mary running through yeah. here. So okay. Because we're really lazy, right, we're not going to walk around the other way back to West Kennet Longborough, so we're actually going to try and climb up this little bank here. Which isn't as little as it looks. No. It really isn't as little as it looks. No. So I'm going to try. Can you hold my crystal for me? <laughs> I'll hold your crystal, Rob. Thank yeah, you. I've got your crystal. Right, so Rob's going to pull himself up. If I give you a push up. <laughs> if I give you a sit. That's it. And he's up. He's done it. See, simple. She's doing it. I'm going to pull her up. <laughs> and we did it. <laughs> and we're in the field. There's Silbury. Thank you very much. There's no. Oh, a lovely field. There's loads of partridges over there as well. No, no, I'll go that way. Oh, there. Yeah. Get Silbury. Yeah, that way. I've never seen it from that angle. by the great stone. Oh. Most amazing place. And it's open access, National Trust property, open access. It's the inner chamber where people are being put your lights in. It's incredible. I deny anyone to come here and not feel totally at ease and peaceful. About um, it was ten years ago, actually, June two thousand and six, and I put twenty, I think it's twenty p, in one of these crevices. I've obviously no idea where it is now, but yes, that was ten years ago. Wow. When you are you say you're you're playing a sound and you're seeing whether it it, it comes back to you or what? What? I don't know what's going to happen. Right. This is what I want to find out. There's a guy called Steve Marshall that wrote that book yeah. who's used the bull roarer in the full court, two bull roarers, which right. um, are tuned to the infrasonic spectrum. Mm -hmm. And they've been doing recordings in here, it's still in process. But I don't think anyone yet has taken a speaker. Is that still playing? Yeah. That's making my ears hurt. Yeah. And you can feel it, something was changing in here. But you need a proper speaker as well. So for the infrasonic stuff... So what you mean is... Whoa. That's buzzing my ear. Yeah. Can yeah. you feel that? Yeah. 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 Wow. What you mean is, you play the sound and the room is tuned to, to sort of... 
um, Whoa. for the sound to come back and, and circulate. It's a case of being careful because you don't know what we've been It's yeah. a powerful place, mm. you know, and you've got a you, you've got the Mary Line current running through, and obviously they like, place it here for that reason, and um, it's really hard to talk with the, the 